Now, uh, Foreign Minister Kamikawa's press conference. I have uh, two initial statements. First, on the occasion of this year's uh, last uh, press conference, uh, let me state my hope and ambition for the next year, reflecting on what we went through this year. As the Foreign Minister, uh, facing ever-changing international situations like in Ukraine and the Middle East, I recognized the importance of a strong and flexible diplomacy for maintaining the unshakable presence and protecting the national uh, interest despite all the drastic changes. For this, I selected Shinayaka uh, for, this, for the term of this year. This term, this word, its meaning is strong and flexible. This word is often used uh, in the realm of economic and security to describe the resilience of the supply chain. But I believe this concept is also applicable into the form of democracy. The truth of democracy is being tested in the international community. The democratic system that is built on diverse views sometimes looks insufficient compared to the authoritarian system. However, it is a flexible system that can embrace diversities and inclusiveness. Democracy is crucially important for protecting peace and freedom of people. Protecting democracy is, therefore, a crucial agenda item for Japan's diplomacy. Built on this approach, I would like to continue diplomatic efforts into the next year. First, maintaining and strengthening the free and open international order based on the rule of law. I will further commit myself to free and open Indo-Pacific FOIP and expand the opportunities for practical cooperation in addition to official security assistance, OSA, economic security, and cyber security. I will be committed to strengthening the rule of law based on my experience of promoting judicial diplomacy as a long-time justice minister. Next, efforts to expand the frontier of economic diplomacy. Building on the trust Japan created in the post-war efforts to develop the world economy through its ODAs and the corporate activities, I would try to embrace the growth potentials of Global South and promote public private partnership leveraging on ODA so that Japan can project itself as a power with flexible economic strength. I will also continue efforts uh, in when new diplomatic fronts, uh, fronts like WPS, Women, Peace and Security, and make Japan's diplomacy more flexible and strong in involving a, involving a broader base of uh, stakeholders. 2024 will be a crucial year as many countries go through important elections. In the midst of the drastic changes in the world, I will do my best to fully grasp the dynamic changes in the world and protect Japan's national security and prosperity. Next year, I will always stay flexible in promoting the diplomacy that can respond to the high expectations placed on Japan by the international community. Next, second point. In Ministry of Foreign Affairs established Japan International Manga Award in 2007 to award the outstanding manga works from abroad under foreign uh, minister's name. 
17th uh, award is this time. We had record high 587 applications from 82 countries and regions. Every year, uh, we have applications from Asia, Central and Latin America, and Europe. This time, uh, we had first application from four countries in Africa, Ethiopia, Comoro, Senegal, and Rwanda. This time, judge panel selected a work by Mr. Jin Jiaqin titled Boy Chasing the Wind Under the Blue Sun from Taiwan as grand prize. And the outstanding award were given to three works from Spain, Vietnam, and Hong Kong. And other than that, two were selected as honorable mention, and nine other works also won the prize. The Japan Foundation will invite the grand prize and outstanding prize winners to Japan and will have an award ceremony in Tokyo in March next year. Every time I visit overseas countries, I feel the popularity of manga and especially the enthusiasm of the younger generation to manga firsthand and that it serves as the catalyst for many countries and regions to be interested in the Jap Japanese culture. As a member of the parliamentary group on pr and print, I'd like to promote the international exchange through manga, the great print culture, and promote manga through International Manga Award of Japan. That is all for me. The floor is open. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Sorry, corrections. I mentioned two for honorable mention, and the nine works were all, also won the prize. Correction. So the floor is open for questions. Um, please uh, raise your hand, and the ones called upon, please proceed to the nearby. Uh, microphone stand. Katsurada, Kyodo News. At, uh, relating to the outset uh, statement, uh, with regard to next year's activities, there's going to be a uh, the Japan-Ukraine uh, Conference on Economic Reconstruction scheduled for uh, February 19th. What is your take on this? And there is a level of forewarning issued. How are you going to encourage Japanese companies and to engage in these activities? First and foremost, well, this is a question about uh, the expectation on Japan-Ukraine Conference of Economic Reconstruction. The Ukraine, excuse me, Russian invasion in Ukraine is um, uh, an act uh, and to shake uh, to shake the principles of international order. It is inseparable uh, talking about uh, the security of Europe uh, and the Indo-Pacific. Uh, there should be an everlasting and fair justice to be uh, uh, fair justice and peace established. We have to continue strongly efforts to support Ukraine. So that, uh, and then uh, we have to give an opportunity to the Ukraine people that they can envision the future uh, in the short term and long and mid term. Uh, and for that, uh, humanitarian assistance, reconstruction efforts are extremely important. It is extremely important to get the private sector uh, to be involved. And since the amount of uh, the demand is extremely large for reconstruction. There should be a lot of opportunities um, for Japanese uh, corporate uh, stakeholders to get involved. From this uh, viewpoint, it is going to be a conference to be scheduled on February 19th. There should be the public and private uh, collaboration to be further promoted uh, for the purpose of reconstruction. At the same time, it should also serve as an opportunity to raise awareness uh, for the importance of uh, the support to be given to Ukraine. Uh, next, uh, there was also a question about uh, uh, the uh, government support um, for encouraging Japanese corporations and to make investments. With regard um, to the travel advice and warning, and that is supposed to be issued um, to the countries and that will require uh, such advisory, in particular in light of the threat and to life and the physical threat, uh, it is supposed to be um, issued and, and based on the comprehensive understanding of the security. The, the currently in Ukraine, level four is issued, evacuate and avoid all travel. And that is the level of travel advice or warning at the moment. 
Uh, it is uh, quite uh, risky for uh, private sector companies to get involved in trade investment, in particular in Ukraine. Uh, but in, it is the, uh, there is necessity uh, for promoting reconstruction. This um, the design is uh, shared by the international community, including G7. We recognize uh, the risks, uh, and we have to pay the highest attention and to the safety of the Japanese nationals. But under these uh, difficult conditions, we would like to cooperate with the Ukrainian side uh, to continue uh, the measures and to be introduced. Asahi Shimbun, Matsuyama san, please. Matsuyama from Asahi Shimbun. So, this is related to your uh, initial remarks about OSA. So, in August, uh, th there will be an establishment of the office. So, what will be the size and what is your intention? And uh, in the initial budget, OSA uh, will budget 5 billion yen for OSA, uh, which is an increase of 3 billion, but the ODA has decreased. The economic assistance had been the symbol of Japan's contribution to the world. Based on the enhancement of OSA, how would you like to uh, lead this uh, to the enhancement? And the three principles of the defense equipment uh, this may increase the friction of the international relationship. So what is your view on that? First of all, the facts. OSA, uh, the security capability of the like-minded uh, countries. OSA aims to contribute to enhance the like-minded countries and the ability and deterrence of the uh, countries and contribute. And we think this creates the desirable security for Japan and will maintain and enhance the peace and security. Uh, international situation is becoming more difficult, so OSA is becoming more difficult. Ministry of Foreign Affairs intend to increase OSA. So in the budget, we earmarked 5 billion yen. 2.5 times bigger than this fiscal year. In order to conduct this OSA appropriately, we established Security Cooperation Department to enhance our structure. ODA-related budget is decreased, but there is no change in our view that ODA remains important. We will continue working to utilize ODA effectively and strategically. and Foreign Affairs Ministry's budget. Given the challenges around Japan and other circumstances surrounding the ministry, we need to consider this comprehensively. And so ODA has been decreased in the next fiscal year, but uh, ODA and OSA remains important diplomatic tools for us. It does not mean that ODA is losing its importance at all. Given the global circumstances, security, environment need to improve. And uh, the new structure to address this uh, will continue being discussed strategically under the grant policy of the ministry and the government. So, including our alliance with the government, we will make the comprehensive decision. Next question, uh, Katsurada-san of Kyodo News. At the outset, uh, you are referring uh, to the International Manga Award. Would you please elaborate on the reason for winning, uh, for selecting the, the best winner? Uh, this uh, work piece uh, described a friendship uh, between uh, Japanese and Taiwanese um, boys uh, who, who were engaged in the sprinter uh, competition toward the end of the World War II. I also had a time to read that work piece and uh, it was a very a strong description uh, of uh, the, um, the story and I was personally impressed. 
And this year, Satonaka Machiko, who is the, the chairman of the judging committee, who is also a person of a cultural merit, and she described the importance of the storyline and then the relationship by a, uh, of a sprinter and a locomotive. And we was highly appreciated, and as a result, it won the title. Japan is the country uh, with the origin uh, of manga culture. Through this award, I truly hope that manga culture will be further accelerated. Next question, please. Hokkaido newspaper, Maiga-san. Araya from Hokkaido newspaper. So I want to ask on the safety operation of four northern islands. Uh, since Russia committed their policy to not accept the intergovernmental negotiation on the decision of the operational conditions in January, uh, what do you think of the forecast and uh, the breakthrough of the negotiation? And do you plan to explain to the local residents? Regarding the operation based on the framework agreement on the operation in waters around four northern islands, in January, um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Russia uh, informed uh, the Japanese embassy in Russia that they cannot coordinate the timing of the intergovernmental negotiation. The Russia, uh, Russia is entirely responsible for the current Ukraine situation. Ukraine situation. It is unacceptable that uh, Russia uh, took this response. Uh, we are coordinating on various levels to conduct the operation under the framework agreement early on. However, as of today, there has not been in any positive response uh, for the execution of this operation. As the government, we will continue working uh, toward Russia so that we can operate under this framework agreement early on. And the explanation to the local residents, recently, on the 15th of this month, a Europe Bureau counselor visited Hokkaido and explained to the related fishermen. We will continue communicating closely uh, with the local re related parties. Hokkaido Shimbun, Arya-san. This is Arya once again, a different story. Uh, according to one Russian media, uh, Arctic LNG 2, uh, which is LNG development and project, uh, because of the reasons relating to the U.S. sanctions, that uh, some of the, uh, the parties uh, who have uh, the interest uh, decided to part uh, terminate the participation. The Japanese uh, company believes it is an important um, project from the viewpoint of energy security. How, uh, what is your take on this news? I recognize um, the news, and uh, based on that, what I would like to mention here, uh, this is a matter that is related to the transactions between private sector companies. So I would like to refrain um, from making any comments on, on factual base, uh, on, fac on facts. Anyway, that uh, as far as the Japanese government is concerned, we have to make every effort, and so that we will not able to, we were not going to undermine the energy and the supply. We introduce Azahari San. Hanoi News. Uh, my question is about the situation in Gaza. Does Japan support the Egyptian initiative announced recently on Gaza, which calls for a humanitarian? A humanitarian truce uh, during which an exchange of prisoners of war uh, on both sides is, is done. And this is followed by uh, establishing a Palestinian national dialogue uh, that uh, paved the way for Palestinian general and presidential elections. And the third level of the Egyptian uh, uh, proposal is uh, a complete and comprehensive ceasefire, which uh, while Israel occupation uh, military withdraw from Gaza, and this, uh, this gives a hope for, for the whole uh, situation uh, to end the genocide against the Palestinians by the Israeli military. Thank you. So this 
proposal by Egypt, uh, we are aware of the coverage on the proposal, but I would like to refrain on making comments to the movements made by third countries. In any ways, improving humanitarian situation in crisis in Gaza and securing the environment allows for the humanitarian assistance is necessary first and foremost. And so we understand that related countries and organizations, including Egypt, is working strenuously uh, to make diplomatic efforts to improve the humanitarian status. We will continue working closely with the countries and organizations involved and work uh, to uh, make tenacious and positive diplomatic efforts to realize immediate release of hostage and improve the humanitarian situation and early settlement of the situation. Mayor Jansan of Anadol News. My name is Mayor Jan. As a result of the attacks on the Gaza Strip by Israelis and 20,000 civilians lost their lives, there is going to be any indirect and direct support to the people in Gaza Strip. With regard to the Japan's diplomacy in this uh, region, uh, including uh, the private sector activities, uh, what are going to be those uh, things that can be expected? The uh, Japanese government is uh, going to continue its uh, position not to ask uh, for ceasefire. What about the Houthis' attacks? Uh, in response to the attacks, uh, the, the coalition of uh, willing and that is proposed by the United States. Uh, that does Japan participate in that the coalition? And uh, first, uh, the recent uh, situation uh, on Israel and Palestine, and what is the position of Japan as well as the Japanese uh, diplomatic efforts? It has been repeatedly many times over with regard to Japan's position on many occasions, including bilateral negotiations and in the international arena, including the UN Security Council. We have been engaged in incessant discussions uh, with the stakeholders. As the chair of the G7 uh, Prime uh, Foreign Minister, <coughs> uh, twice <coughs> on November 8th and November 29th, there was a statement and then at the time of the resolutions adopted in the UN Security Council, a Cairo Peace Summit, Israel-Palestine Jordanian visits, and the Global uh, for, uh, Refugee Forum, which was held in Geneva, and uh, through um, telephone uh, conversations, uh, we took on those opportunities and to um, negotiate with the relevant partners. In particular, the UN Security Council should be accountable and take the responsibility. It should be engaged in appropriate uh, activities and so that it would be able to focus on the uh, cessation of hostilities and also the, the immediate release of hostages. And I welcome the recent UN Security Council resolutions. Going forward, we are going to continue in contact with the relevant uh, parties and organizations so that all the parties uh, will comply with the international humanitarian law and comply with the UN Security Council resolutions so that uh, they will be engaged in the immediate release of hostages, improvement to the humanitarian situation, and calm down of uh, the situation. In addition to them, the two-state party uh, solution involving Israel and Palestine, and it also um, uh, recognized uh, the right and to self-determination, including the right to create an independent state of Palestine. For the long term, we have been supporting the efforts of Palestinians uh, in the fronts of politics and the economy. 
uh, going forward in order to pr uh, bring a solution to the two-state solution, we are going to engage in dialogue with Israel and Palestine and any other relevant con uh, countries. We are going to pursue a pathway toward the building peace and uh, prosperity corridor. Lastly, there was also a question about support and through NGOs. Currently, in face of the uh, humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip, uh, in total 75 million hum humanitarian assistance uh, is already given by the Japanese government. Out of this amount, Japan Platform, or JPF, is being used in order to offer uh, food, daily commodities, uh, health care, water, and sanitary uh, uh, sanitation services. And we are planning to provide uh, 4.4 million assistance, U.S. dollar assistance. We are going to continue and to respond to the local needs. And there was uh, also a question uh, about uh, the the other question uh, that uh, with regard to the Houthis, uh, we have been engaged in dialogue with the uh, relevant parties, including the United States. In light of the current situation, we are uh, taking a careful view, review, and uh, I would like to refrain from comment, making any specific comments and because of the relevant parties being involved. With this, the press conference comes to an end. Thank you very much.